Good morning. So, I hope you're all uh, doing okay. I haven't got a clue how many of you are here, but uh, if you can do so, try to have a look at uh, Teams. So, anyway, so welcome from my end. So, we are uh, trying to look at the, uh, uh, the assignment. So, lecture sorry so to start with i'd like you to kind of have a look at uh, are you actually ready with uh, engaging with teams okay i see someone uh coming up there so let's have a look at how this actually works so yes i can actually go in and put teams on screen so uh, you should see uh, yourself. So, hello everyone. So, if you have any questions, you can put it into the stream, and I'll try to see uh, uh, what they say and try to capture that. So, um, yeah, just stay with me because I still have to figure out everything uh, a little bit. But I'm certain we, we will get there at some point. So yes, including obligatory uh, cat videos. So the idea is that you put your comments into the stream and then I will uh, react as and where it is appropriate. Uh, at some point we might do some audio thing, but uh, let's leave that for now. Okay, so at least... Uh, and if there's any technical issues, please let me know because I'm not going to be uh, able to see whether something's going wrong. So yeah, so this is team, anyway, so this is the, the, the team chat uh, that I kind of cut down, so it's the lecture discussion. Good. Okay, so let's go to our actual plan. So um, back to the slides. So what's the plan? So, the plan is basically to go and do uh, do lectures uh, as planned, or in the pl a scheduled plan. Uh, we use Teams to do messages as well as Q and A a little bit. I'll try to put in some Q and A meeting as part of the of the lecture. Yes, we'll make available things as a video afterwards, but obviously you cannot answer questions. So that's the, video, the lecture. Labs are trickier. So the idea is to see if we can use a kind of a virtual P201 to the support lab uh, situation to basically allow you to answer questions any time of the week rather than limiting it to specific lab hours. Uh, in an online context, that doesn't seem to make too much sense. So we're doing that. Um, then we can use... Uh, Piazza as well for a more discussion-based uh, thing. There's also channels in this thing where you can put your own questions in there as well. So um, that's kind of the idea. You can also have the, uh, so if we look at teams slightly, uh, yeah, I have to figure out how to do this. Uh, let's see if we can do this in a slightly different way. So. Uh, F, D, no, that's the wrong, that's the screen I needed. So on Teams, so we have these different channels. So there's the general channel that's, yeah, where, you can, where I can put announcements. Then there's discussion on um, assignments. So yes, you can answer, ask any, discuss anything here. Just don't put out code because we still have plagiarism rules. Uh, there is the discussion on the labs and exercises, etc. I'm not sure how helpful it is. Uh, yeah, there's a private channel that we use to make lab notes. So if we find common issues, we'll try to see if we can actually make a screencast of that so that you can know what's going on. Then we have uh, obviously this channel for the lecture discussion. Uh, so Yes, you can actually be online, and I'm happy to see that there's quite a lot of people in, in the Teams channel now. 
And of course, anything else goes into miscellaneous discussion. Um, I hope that is clear for you. So going back to the uh, lectures, uh, uh, so to the lecture, basically the plan is to, uh, so we have this virtual 201. Let me know if that doesn't work or how this works, but please be welcome to answer, ask questions. Uh, Kevin and I will be doing some rotations. There will be other people. Uh, you can always try to ping us if we uh, if we are not uh, not literally monitoring the channel. So the way you do that in Teams is to uh, to actually. Um, uh, so, so the way you do that in Teams is to use an ad with a name and then people will get a notification that you mentioned them. But if you do add uh, uh, Kevin and add me, then we will be able to uh, see that. I will create a tag as well that you can use to kind of see if we are there. Then we can see that and we might be able to do an individual video call to see your screen. So... GitHub would be very helpful as well, so we can look more broadly at your code, but the video sharing, the screen sharing does work. Um, but those of you, of course, Teams also has a very good uh, mobile client if you find that useful. So, and we have Piazza already there. So then, uh, so there was, I had a slide for doing a Teams demo, but we kind of already did that. Uh, so the assignment, that is a uh, something that we need to think about. So the assignment uh, basically has uh, has no changes, but it might become more important than originally planned. Uh, obviously, there might also become challenges for people. How do you do this without the active lab support? We have uh, so. The biggest thing is to get started with the assignment now, and if there are any issues, tell us of that. Um, we have at this point we haven't planned any specific exercises beyond doing your assignment. However, if we find through feedback, so please tell us that there are particular things that say, "Oh, I don't know how to do that." We will create either an exercise or a video to see how that works that you can get going with this uh, etc the exam is a little bit more tricky as uh, as you know it has been announced that we will not be having any online uh, offline exams uh, but the exam is a multiple choice test so it would be possible to do this in a uh, multiple choice test it's also only 30 percent of the unit so it may be that it's decided that it will be skipped entirely we don't know yet. Last week we have been mainly focusing on the immediately in urgent bits that um, obviously cannot be uh, discussed at that point. 